ahead, guys. Uh, this is a big box. Um, I haven't touched guitar like in 15 years. I sold my guitars like way, way, you know, when I, you know, was in New York and I, you know, moved in Chicago. I sold all of it. So this is the first guitar I ordered in 15 years, and uh, that was like it's really cheap. It's probably cheapest you can get, guys. It's like a dirt cheap guitar, 139 dollars from Guitar Center, yeah, and uh, so this model is Epiphone Les Paul. Uh, special one and with P90s pickups, uh, limited edition. I don't know how limited it is. This version. Okay, let's open it up. Uh, we're gonna do the. Okay, it's probably, I'm very curious what you can get for hundred and thirty nine dollars. That would be very interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we need some settings already, we need to set up. Okay, here we are. And I got a cable here. Okay, we we'll got a cable. Alright, here we are. Let me set it up, put it up here with this. Okay. Phone for every stage. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me just let me just put this camera okay, a little closer on this. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, like I said, this is a dirt cheap. You, I don't think you can get any cheaper guitar than that. But again, I think it's it, you know to me it wouldn't really matter because I haven't played in like. So long, I have to kind of learn again. So I just basically I just kind of strum a few chords and that's it. So okay, well, okay, let's see that. Okay. Yeah, got some kind of stickers. Probably like a different car sticker. Yeah, it looks like a car stickers. Okay, nothing special about those. Okay, here we are. Don't this card. Looks like this is to protect the you know, selector. And there's another bag. It's actually so this is a yellow TV yellow color and it actually looks better in person. On the website, it looks like really yellow. And this is, look at this, this is pretty cool. Look at this, this is pretty darn good. I mean, this is actually much better looking than I thought. The, uh, the setup is probably clearing it. Yeah, it's pretty high. You know, I, let me look at this possibly. Okay. Here we are. Voila! So, the P90 is supposed to be sound pretty cool, and I, I don't have like a proper, um, you know, amplifier. I got this Boss, uh, it just tiny little amp, like a practice amp, the Katana Mini. I will have to set it up later. So, it actually, I, you know, let's see. Here we are. That's what it looks like. It's a tiny little thing, weight like probably like, like a pound. So anyway, let's take a look. Uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, this is just a basic wraparound stop tail bridge. There's no intonation. I guess you can adjust the intonation here. There's like two little screws, you know, on the bridge. You know, nothing fancy. You know, simple switch, two knobs volume and tone uh, and black P90s and I'll show you uh, looks like a rosewood uh, the fretboard uh, you know but that's nice actually the like a C shape kind of like a slim neck uh, it's still what's interesting this is still the old style 
it before the headstock because I think they changed it now. I actually like the newer one better. You know, it has this is, has like a little like a uh, different shape. The new one just the open book, but that's that's fine. Like I said, this is I don't I didn't expect much. I actually color is much better than I expected. I did not expect much for $139. I think regular was about like I don't know 179, 180. So this is this is totally fine. So I'm not gonna play now because it probably needs a basic setup. Uh, might do like second video to uh, you know to do what its sound is, sort of like demonstrate some some sounds. And but uh, I need a proper amp to do this. It's a practice amp. I don't think the sound would be so good, but um, you know it's pretty light compared to like regular AP4 Les Pauls. Uh, this is pretty pretty lightweight. I don't know, probably like about six and a half, maybe seven pounds. Uh, and I like that this is a flat finish. Um, yeah, you know what there is? There is actually a nice... I didn't expect... There's nothing sticking out. The threads are just amazing. I mean, let me just... Let me get you close. Let's see if you can see it better. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, the threads are pretty... You know, I might just do like basic... I got like lemon oil. And uh, this is a gauge for the setup gauge, and I probably will do some little dressing and uh, see. If, yeah, it's actually pretty nice. I mean, this is. I'm surprised because I've seen some in the guitar center, like in the stores, even more expensive guitars, much worse finish. But they definitely needs to be polished. Uh, you know, I can probably do like a, some uh, fret, you know, dressing and polishing. And this looks like the fretboard and it look, look very dry, super dry. I mean, it's probably needs like lemon oil, which I have. And uh, uh, you know what it is? That's actually not bad for, for the 140 bucks, I must say. The, this is not a Grover's. The machine heads, probably I would need to swap them. This is pretty cheap ones. A lot of people complain they don't stay in tune. So this is here we are. And um, I think you can get a set pro probably for about, I don't know, 25, maybe 50 bucks. I've seen on Amazon, you can get even Gibson for like 60 bucks. Uh, you can get like, kind of like a Clawson type, a Clawson type, and you can, you know, do like a locking machine hats. Uh, there's a tons of options, you know, there's a Grover's and, you know, the Clawson, and, uh, you know, you can get pretty nice ones, Wilkinson. So this is this is cheap fix actually. This easy fix. Um, like I said, the look is actually better than this yellow, the yellow one and uh, TV. I was like, oh, it's going to be a bright one. This is not at all. And I actually like simplicity. Uh, there is no any like poker chip here like usually like West Paul's have. It's just really simple, almost like a studio model. And uh, I just wish the bridge was two piece bridge. Sometimes it's easy to adjust, but also you can probably get the intonation bridge on uh, Amazon. I did see with for individual string intonation and just those are probably from around 25. I think total you can get 70 bucks in parts and set it up yourself. You know, I mean, if you, have extra money, if you do have extra money, you can get it to the you know, local shop. They probably can set it up for you professionally. But I kind of like doing it myself and it's sort of the fun you can do uh, you know low or high action whatever you want for yourself you know it's got a truss rod I don't think they supply you know this key for the truss rod but you can get those that's no big deal um, so but uh, yeah this is it that's pretty much all the box opening there's not much uh, you know there's a it's made in China I think yeah, there's, there's a label in here, and it's bolt-on, uh, which is fine. Like I said, I just want to go back to playing, and I just need to, you know, regain <laughs> whatever I knew. I forgot all of it mostly, you know, um, and just a basic course. That's I kind of remember the basic ones, but you know, I couldn't play any solo or something, so I. You know, I'm I, I'm not gonna demonstrate right now. I'm probably gonna get a proper like amp, maybe like one of those Fender Mustangs. And people talking about Spark, the Spark Two, uh, which is pricey too. I so far I spent 
140, 140 bucks, that was a free shipping, and I spent like, this is 100 bucks, this is $99, this Katana Mini, and we'll see how good it is. I'm pretty skeptical, but there's a lot of good reviews. Um, and we'll see how, and, and there's a cable, of course, there's like, you know, 15 bucks for cables, and I got a set of new, you know, early balls, uh, slinky, uh, you know, set of strings, and the one, you know, I've got the one which is uh, 9 through 42. So, uh, and I don't know the specs, that's probably 10 to 46, I'm not so sure, I have to look at them in, in uh, you know, Epiphone website. Um, so the height of these pickups probably need to be adjusted, so I have to look and, you know, have to play with that. But yeah, bridge is adjustable, you can actually set the bridge lower. This is, and the C, the truss rod, I'm not so sure you have to, I don't have a cable, you have to put the cable on it first and, and see if there is any, you know, it's, it's, it needs to be some bending and um, some basic truss rod adjustments. Uh, but it's, you know what guys, this is pretty cool guitar for like, you know, I wish this, uh, the wood, the, uh, it's a little, the color, I wish it was kind of like a little darker, the rose wood or whatever it is, the fretboard, um, but that's, that's okay, that's fine, it doesn't bother me, I mean, it would be nice to have some kind of like a darker, like ebony almost, but, you know, like I said, this is a cheap guitar, I've seen some reviews and people expect, wow, but, you know, for that much money, you can probably put 100 bucks in, and, uh, like I said, the, the head machines, the tuners would be the, you know, number one thing I would do, uh, and it would be great guitar for me. I mean, I'm not like a big player or anything, so I'm just a, at this point I'm like a beginner. So I played in my college years and in my twenties and in high school, and then I, you know, was on and off, you know, for ten, five years. I wouldn't touch guitars, and I would buy it back. And so, like I said, I sold them all, and uh, this is first one in like fifteen years. And my plan is to play. A little with this one, play around, and I'm not so worried if I'm gonna drop it or whatever. I can just, you know, sort of like a drag it around the house, and maybe get the, you know, better one for like about seven, eight hundred dollars, uh, like PRS or uh, just a better Les Paul model. Uh, there's like a Muse, and uh, I like the Muse, the lighter, you know, model, the the modern series, and those are pretty cool. Looks like to me the, you know, the modern. I forgot, the figured, you know, they have like a black graphite, like one of those modern series, it's probably around $650, uh, $700. So this is maybe, would be for next year, but for now, I'm probably gonna be pretty happy with this one. And uh, like I said, you before you spend a lot of money, you better like practice, 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 and uh, and it would be fun to play around and set up, do, do just the basic setup, you know, the action, the fret service. This is actually pretty nice. It's, it's, you know what it is? There's no sharp, there's no sprout and there's no sharp threads sticking out, except they, they definitely need to be polished. If they're not, you know, I could tell by the finish, guys. You know, this is, you know, they need to be some nice polishing done. Okay, so this is, you know, this is exciting. Thank you so much for watching and we'll, I'll do an update once I just do the basic setup with an update. Thank you guys. Yeah, and um, I was trying to set it up the strings and um, when I go a little too low, like 1.5 millimeters, it's, it starts buzzing, but right now it's about, it's about one point, uh, I think it's 1.75, so it's a little high. It's a little higher than I needed to, so I'll try to. I didn't touch the, you know, the truss rod. It needs to be, might need to be adjusted. Um, so let's see here on a high string. I know it's kind of dark, but um, yeah, it needs to be. You know, I want to do it about like 1.5. It needs to be a little lower, but you know it's 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 not terrible, uh, not too bad. So um, yeah, probably gonna put a little light gauge. So this is 
when I looked up on the website, this is 10 to 46, I believe. And I got this uh, 9 to 42, it's a little lighter. Uh, if you wanna do some kind of a blues style banding, uh, would be not much, much easier to play, especially for a beginner like myself. Okay, let's take a close look before I, um, you know, remove the strings and uh, it looks like um, I'm gonna keep it as my project guitar, so it would be fun to uh, do some things and uh, First, I gotta ebonize this fretboard that, you know, I mentioned it's very dry and I also hate this uh, rosewood color. So I wanna do sort of like ebony look and, um, you know, I've got some uh, uh, black stain, like a mini wax. Um, that should be interesting. There's a several videos on YouTube and some guys using like, um, you know, like a black dye, like a black leather dye and uh, just wood stains and this is oil based. So anyway, so the pickups, I did not remove this uh, film protector because if I gonna do, I wanna do some fret service, uh, I have to polish it. So I wanna protect this, um, you know, magnetic, uh, you know, the picks. So in, and uh, um, probably like, a, you know, next part, I'll show you guys. Uh, what it's cool about it, I noticed that there's actually, when you look up closer, there is a binding, like a black binding. I did not notice it at first. And this is cool because if it, if it would have like a white, traditional or whatever, off-white, like on Les Pauls, it would be uh, hard to do this, um, you know, the stain, like when you do like ebony, like a black color, the dye might go actually on this white binding. And this is, with the black, it's a lot easier actually, there's, you know, uh, nothing gonna bleed, so you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool, cheap little guitar, but sounding great. This is like a solid wood, but sound actually, the resonance, I did tune it up, and as you could hear, it sound pretty nice. It's almost like it's been, you know, almost like, you know, it's chambered inside, but, you know, specs, um, you know, indicates that this is just a solid mahogany wood. So I believe it is, but it's, as you can see, all the knobs, it's excellent. You know, it's electric switch, you know, it's nothing wobbling. Um, it's pretty decent quality, like I said, this is, um, yeah, the tuners, oh, I didn't mention, actually it stays in tune pretty, pretty good. So I didn't, I mentioned that a lot of people complain about this, you know, the tuners, the machine heads, and I actually played for a couple days and it's not so bad. And it's pretty nice, it stays in tune, it's, you know, nothing wrong with that, so, um, yeah. We'll see. Next project would be to uh, polish up all the threads and to do, there's a, there's a, I don't, there's no, no sprout in anything, but it's a little scratchy. I will have to, you know, work on this one and put some stain because this is almost like it doesn't need any setting or it's completely, it probably will absorb pretty well. Uh, I think this will penetrate, uh, you know, my mini wax. So anyway, let's take a last look. Here we are, pretty much right out of the box. And uh, with, uh, you know, bolt on neck. Yep, okay. That's right, and we'll do like before and after later. Uh -huh.